Hey guys, uh, so back here, uh, we're going to do a couple of star questions for review. Uh, these are fifth grade star questions, uh, basic operation, add and subtract, multiply and divide, uh, rational numbers. Um, so yeah, we're working with that teak. We're using uh, Screencastify, shout out to Screencastify uh, to do this. And then we're also using Jamboard, a uh, Google extension that um, to show you guys this question. So uh, I like to start off with my highlighter, definitely. We'll just do yellow. Eh, green's my favorite color. So Shauna is reading a 528-page book. She reads 22 pages every day. How many days will it take Shauna to read the entire book? So, of course, we know we need to know that, hey, she has, she's reading 528. I don't like how that is. I use Control-Z, we'll circle it instead. 528, and then she's going 22 pages every day. Then they wanna know how many days will it take her to read the entire book, entire book. So the whole thing, total. So what do we need to do? This is our total. This is what we're doing every single day. And we, need, we wanna know how many days. It's a division problem. So 528. Ah, let's change that. Again, on control Z. In. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go back to my pen. Let's just go. Oh, but. So 528. Bear with me. I'm doing this with a mouse. 528. And we're doing division. We want to know how many days. And 22 it might make it a little easier if I use like my marker and make this red right here you can see the difference so we know we're gonna have a we're gonna have to subtract let's go ahead and put that line there let's go back to my pen so we need to figure out how many times does 22 go into 52 it goes into that two times because we know that two times 22 is oh sorry look at that i was 44. and we have to subtract that so now we have to figure out what is 44 minus 52. we can't do four from two we need to borrow turn that into a four and 12 minus four is eight Four minus four is zero. And if you're struggling with some of this basic addition, subtract, multiplication, and division, uh, I have to see some of my other videos and I'll walk you through that. We're gonna bring this next one down and we're gonna end up with 88 down here. And if you know your multiplication and division, you see that that's really nice because 22 can go into 88. Two times is 44. Three times would be 66. So this would be four times to double it. 44 you double this 88 so you just double what you did up here instead of two times four times 88 and do our subtraction we get zero so it is going to take us 24 days to read that book if we read 22 pages each day so simple to the point if we were going to enter that in a gridable we know we would have to enter it. so now next problem Aspen added 14 I'm getting my highlighter again guys Aspen added 14 to the product of 224 and 16 what is the sum so there's some key vocabulary words in so let's we're gonna say he added 14 he added 14 so that's key and then this is the product of 224 and 16 and then they want to know the sum so what I did was I underlined my keywords and then I circled my numbers 
I like that method. I think I'm going to stick with that. Um, so we add it. So we know that this is going to symbolize plus 14. And we added 14 to the product. Product means what? Product means that we have done what? We have some here, product here. The product means that we have, is the 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 answer to multiplication. I was trying to figure out how to to say that the proper way. Sorry, guys. So, product is the answer to to multi a multiplication problem. So we have to take these two numbers here and do what? We gotta multiply, and then we're gonna get the product of that number. And then to get the sum, we're gonna have to do our what? Our plus fourteen. So let's do that real quick. So two hundred and twenty-four. Oh. Sorry, forgot to switch. I actually like, let me do the marker and see how that is. A little better. 224, 16. Let's do our multiplication. And you have to do the product first because we, then we're going to add the 14. You can't do anything with the 14 yet. Alright, so it's 6 times 4. Here, I'll change the color and do this level. 6 and 4. This is 24. 24. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. 6 times 2 is 12 again. Plus 1, that is 13. So we end up with 1344. Let's go ahead and cross these out so we know we're done working with them. Let's change colors here. Next level. You have to remember skip that place value because we're not working with that one. Now we're going to be under here for the 1. 1 times 4 is... You know when you multiply by 1, it's going to be the same number above. 1 times 2 is 2, and then 1 times 2 again is 2. You get the same exact number. So let's see what's going on here. I had to move that guy. So now we have to what? Then we have to finish up our problem with addition. Add our 2 numbers together and let's see 4 here 4 plus 4 is 8 here 3 plus 2 is 5 here 2 plus 1 is 3 here easy stuff and now what do we do we're not done we got us then add our 14 so let's take this sum over here 3 5 8 Four plus our 14 because we need the sum of when we add 14. That's 8, 9, 5, 3. And that should be our number. 